Hello and welcome to Word 2010 Working with Pictures. Today's lesson, how to apply gradients. Now the gradients feature is really pretty nice because you can apply a gradient to a shape, picture, or clip art. You can also apply a gradient to text without using word art. Now we'll show you how to apply all the features for a shape first because the ones for text work exactly the same way. First thing you do, click on your shape, picture, clip art, whatever you want to gradientize. Right click and go to the bottom of the menu, context menu, format shape. Give that a click. Here comes the magic box. Now the magic box is movable so you want to move the box so that you can see your image at the same time because any changes you make to the to the box the changes will near immediately show up in your image okay uh, go to up to the top to fill and slide there to gradient fill see that's a no-brainer click that okay when we come down here we have some choices to make preset colors pretty well speaks for itself give that a click these are all presets you give them a click and they show up right <laughs> it's kind of a no-brainer here right <laughs> if you want to work on your uh, gradient manually then these two choices type and direction they work hand in hand okay you have to use both of them clicking linear okay and here's how they will show up okay see notice I said the lines there's the right angles the straight across uh, our straight up and downs uh, from our, our corner again at the angles that's what linear is the straight lines uh, if we go to radial then you notice here's our circles you know our, our circle effects and there's a circle from the center uh, from the corners again uh, clicking rectangular and looking at our direction it's a square radial you know it's like the radial effects only in squares they're pretty self-explanatory I'm gonna go back to linear and I'm gonna pick straight up and down now angle uh, I'm just gonna click this and you can watch what happens the greater the yeah uh -huh, the greater the number you see how the uh, uh, image is changing okay I think you can figure that one out now comes the one that confuses a lot of people this gradient stops right here okay each stop you'll see as I click each stop has a color okay to introduce a new color or remove a color you add or subtract a stop okay the plus over here is to add a stop this is to remove a stop for example, let's take out uh, uh, Mr. Orange here. Okay, there's our stop. Here's the color that goes with that stop. Let's remove it. Boom. See? If we want to add a color, we can either change one of these stops or we can add one. I'm going to add a stop. Click. There's my stop. And I'm going to change that something dramatic. Let's go with blue. Okay, see, now you can see over here how the blue came in. All right. Now to change a color is real easy. You can pick any one of these colors in here or you can go down to more colors. There it brings you to custom or standard. You can pick uh, just click on one this current color and that'll show you the new color. These are your shades of gray right here if you want gray shade printing in black and white. Custom over here you pick a color and then the slider on the side will make it a gradient you see the gradient make it lighter or it'll make it darker um, pick your colors any way you want it's all good okay now uh, the position box over here is just simply a numeric representation of where your slider is brightness is pretty self-explanatory this is a per stop uh, you know, uh, the higher the number, the lighter it becomes, you know, the lower the number, the darker it becomes. Okay, and that's per stop. Each stop has its own brightness settings. Okay, transparency. This one can be a lot of fun. Now I'm going to move this box over a little bit. Now we see we have the word gradient here. I'm going to move my shape 
to where it covers part of the word. Okay, now we cannot see the word through the shape. Now let's see, we have black on this side, we select black, and the upping the number causes that color to become thinner, more transparent. Now notice we can start to see part of the word behind our shape. Now let's go to our next color, red. We cannot see very much. Now let's up the transparency. As we up it, see, we can start to see the word behind the shape. That's what transparency does. Okay, right now I'm going to go set them back. And that's a per stop uh, setting. Okay, I've just set them back to zero. I'm going to go move my shape back. This last one here, rotate with shape. Um, if it is checked, your gradient, you got the little rotate, little little handle up here. If you spin your shape around, the gradient will go with it. Okay, now I'm going to undo that, Control Z to undo. If you uncheck rotate with shape, well, the gradient is going to, come here, the gradient is going to remain the same, straight up and down, even though I have rotated the shape. That, that's what this one does. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Oh, one thing. The closer together two stops are to each other, the sharper the line will appear. You know, as they blend from one color to the next, the farther away they are, you notice, then the smoother the color transition will be from one stop to the next. Now that's how you do the, uh, gradients with an image, uh, shape, or a picture. What about text? Well this is so so easy it's going to scare you. Okay, just select it the way you normally would. Go over here to font color. Go down here to gradient. <laughs> and go to more gradients. Give that a click. Does this look familiar? It should because it works exactly the same way. All these behave exactly the same way that they do for the shapes, okay? It's just that Word handles text differently than it does pictures, images, and shapes, okay? So it needs its own little box, okay? But they all work the same. Let's uh, pick linear. Let's go uh, straight across. Let's go, um, let's give it an orange going to, now remember, we're, we're up here, okay, All right, and let's go to uh, uh, bright, let's go to a really bright yellow, okay, go to a really bright yellow, up, okay, give close, that look familiar, alright, you see how it, how it works, anywho, that is how you apply gradients to text without word art. That is how you apply gradients to shapes, pictures, or clip art. I hope this was helpful, and I do hope you enjoy the rest of the day.